Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Agustin from Farmers Organizations Indonesia. Uh, let me inform you about the dilemma of farmers on to secure the food <coughs> nutrition while uh, the farmers also have to supply or have to uh, send the produce to the market. As we know that food plays an important role in the Indonesian economy where the largest part of the population are food producers. And food also has a very big share in the cost of living as well as small farmers income. So uh, it affects very much if there's a price fluctuation. And as you know that uh, from the 245 million people are living on agriculture are small family farmers. When the food price is fluctuated, it affects at large the income of small farmers and the differentiation between food prices in the markets also affect the production as well as consumption patterns. Uh, when the farmers couldn't afford to buy rice that they produce, then they have to eat another food, another secondary food. So uh, from the food groups, rice is the most important food consumption as well as production patterns of the Indonesian small farmers. Ladies and gentlemen, the perception of agriculture role is broadly understood as an important state contributor such as for provider for food for food security, provider for employment, provider for raw materials for industry, and source of income. But on the path of the economic liberalization, most of the food policies has been brought to the benefit of trade and market opportunities. Policies to access capital, marketing, and input materials were designed as priority, mostly for the commercial and market driven and food security purposes at the aggregate level. While food for the health and the nutrition, especially for the needs of local poor family farmers, uh, is most likely behind the priority. I couldn't say whether this is considered as important or not important. In the sense of commercial agriculture, farmers in everyday life are still facing problems in assessing high quality seeds, fertilizers, water, rural infrastructure, and machineries to process and road to transport the yield into the marketplace, and also the quality requirement from the trade to meet their demand. The national and local government are very busy they are busy in developing policies and programs such as financial support for agriculture and marketing with, among others, an extending various credit schemes or grants and programs related to industrial sector development such as the challenge to produce various refined agricultural products of higher quality and high value commodities. Incentive policies to develop the industrial sector have been designed as well as the policies to linkage and integration among small farmers as producers, traders, industries, and exporters. And also the designs of supported programs to span up to speed up the improvement of agricultural productivity. Ladies and gentlemen, frankly speaking, the attention to understand or to relate between agriculture and production for the nutrition security 
for the poor family farmers some kind is still missing. Moreover, lack of farmers' awareness that agriculture could benefit to provide food for their nutrition and health and the less knowledge about the relation between growing food practices, the yield and its nutrition to health, its us and circumstances of the farmer's life. As the conclusion, uh, the causal factors that bring to these conditions among others because of, as uh, I have mentioned before, the market and trade dictation is very dominant. Market and trade dictations to the farmers is very dominant. And poor socioeconomic circumstances, poverty, ignorance, ignorance to, uh, to use good food with a good nutrition, indifference, moreover lack of health education, and maybe the same with other countries, the persistence of culture, soil condition and climate patterns, and lack of knowledge of food and its cultivating practices still going on. So this problem should be seen as a local approaches. How the actual ability how the actual ability of rural communities in meeting the needs of food for their nutrition and health. We have to see on that kind of approach. And how a flexible approaches to every specific region is implemented. Every region, as we know, that have their own specific. And how participatory effective food planning and implementation in local level integrate between farmers and governments and maybe industries and how in planning how in planning the market and trade not to be put always the market and trade not to be put always at the first place but the needs of nutrition and health for the local family farmers So, it is necessary to dig a new thinking policy of local food empowerment with a multidimensional approach, as our friend from uh, Cambodia have said, and to start improving the food conditions of rural communities is only fitting, is only fitting if done with participatory manner and well attention to socio-cultural issues of local communities. Ladies and gentlemen, the national food policy should be directed to appreciate and support the local food culture and moreover utilize the biodiversity resources as the, res as, as the, fun as the fundament in building the strong access of small family farmers to food that benefit to their health. The last but not least, promote a campaign program in the rural level to raise awareness and to improve the knowledge of farmers, the knowledge of family farmers about the, the relation between growing food with nutrition and health is a must. Thank you. Well, <clears throat>